fence of our house, right in front of the pipeline. And today I'm gonna run you through all my home wine. As far as boards, Hawaii is so special. Anywhere around the world, I usually go bring six to eight boards, full shore boards, pretty much the same dimensions, one step up. But Hawaii, it gets crazy. You come to Hawaii, you're riding 510, 511, you got from that all the way up to 70, and possibly a 96 if you like to surf YML or whatever. So you gotta be prepared. And this year, I came to Hawaii with around 30 surfboards probably. I came prepared for pipe, sunset, and some haleiwa. And let's go through them. We've been here for a month and a half now, so I've tried most of my boards. The surf off, if you get the wild card, it was so crazy because that morning I rode a 6 4. Afternoon I rode a 6 6. And the very next day I rode a 6 2. Here's my 6 2. So, yeah, the very next day I. Have done 62 Bradley, which I really like uh, to ride when the waves get a bit smaller because they really feel similar to my normal boards. The whole year, my main shaper is Christian Bradley, incredible shaper. When I come to Hawaii, I also try a local shaper, which is Eric Arakawa, who I've been working with for the last four or five years. And most of my boards are Bradleys, but the Arakawas work really good at Pipeline. And it's good to compare between what I usually ride and something different over here. My favorite board this year at Pipeline has been the RP model shaped by Arakawa. As you can kind of see, the volume is really shaped up the front of the surfboard, which basically lets me paddle into the wave and ride a 6.4 when the waves are quite solid, which back in the days, people would be riding 6.10s or 7.4s or whatever. The swell is picking out, the waves are pretty clean. Seems like some good back to waves and I don't know what else. I'm gonna I'm gonna try out a 6-3 send model. 6-3, 18 and 3 quarters, 2 and 7 eighths. Let's go send it. Look at this one. Alright. Alright. No! We are right! That pipeline so uncrowded very often. That was such a good session. Except for my first wave. Wow. I think it was like wave of the winter. It felt so big. The board went really good. Except for the first wave, I think I needed a bigger board because that was a really solid wave. But I probably should have made it anyways. I for sure my neck hasn't been feeling great, so that wasn't the best we have for it. <laughs> but for the rest we we got some fun ones. Send model 63. Thank you. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's bad. 
It's that would have come out. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it was gnarly. It was gnarly. Oh. Well, I blew that. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. Oh! Oh! Get out of the crap! You went around the body board there! How's the body board? <laughs> oh, look at that one. Look at that one. Come on. Yeah. Look at that one. Getting battled. Getting a shock right here. Sunset. Yeah. Trying some boards for the contest. We got Jackie over here. So I don't have to surf alone. Because the rest of the boys bailed on me. Yeah. 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 Right. You got a 6.6? Six, six? You got anything bigger? Yeah. I think it's gonna get big. I got a 6.8, it's getting bigger, but you don't want the big ones out of here usually. If you catch the big, big ones, you're not really turning, especially with the wind, so I'm gonna try and ride a 6.6 six and catch the medium-sized yeah. waves, and what are you riding, Jack? Don't tell no one. Don't tell no one? <laughs> I'll tell you what Jack is riding. Jack is riding a 6.6 six, six, Eric Arakawa thinned out rails with some future fins and he doesn't know what he's talking he's gonna about. rip <laughs> as much as I I want to blow mm. on top of his booty mm -hmm. he's gonna be ripping out at sunset <laughs> oh my god look at this set. let's go you know ride a 6.6 six, six, though yeah for sure our dimensions are probably pretty similar huh yeah probably super set how much do you weigh I'm a little bit heavier than you probably I'm a 79 Kilos. 81 kilos. You're 81? Yeah. You do look bigger. Yeah. Oh, he's taking your <laughs> shirt off! <laughs> Jack's been putting weight on him. I, I if you saw us as kids, I was a skinny it, little like... He was always bigger though than me. I'm yeah. still taller, but... He's still taller. Jack's put on a bit of weight. Testing your boards very well works if you break them all. Well, I did feel like I was getting pounded and I thought my leash was holding really oh. well. Solid 
tail. Swallow, no. <laughs> How many boards did you bring to Hawaii? Or how many did you get them here? Uh, shit, I bought, I bought 12 over and had 20 waiting. 20? Yeah. So Eric made you... He, he had a few from last year and then he made like 15 new ones. So you kept to Hawaii with 12 boards and made you... Yeah. I mean, I do the same pretty much. I come over with like 16 boards and... Yeah. Yeah, so I, I think. Tried, tried to travel with a few left. That's the one that you want sunset at. Yeah. Ooh. The... Let's get some sunset magic. Feel some that. juju, some good juju. Some good juju for your hands on This one thing. was off the rack, yeah? Maybe. It was made for you. Maybe. Yeah, it was off the rack. It was off the rack, yeah? <laughs> yeah. You're... It was off the rack. It was my dimension. All kind of my dimensions, but it was off the rack. You just grab more of the rack and win sunset. It's pretty good, huh? Do that too often. It can be easier. <laughs> Sometimes you can make it easier. Super easy. Your Hawaii boards, are they like similar width and thickness, just bigger or no? It's pretty, yeah, pretty much similar. It's just morphed up into a bigger board. Like it might, it'll go from like 28 liters here, but then it will, it'll like in a short board, it'll be 28 liters, but then it'll just be morphed up, so it'll be like 31. See, people are so much into liters today. Like you're 28, I'm like 27.8. Yeah. People are super into liters, huh? People are so much into liters. It's crazy. Yeah. Like whenever like all my friends that or friends that aren't like amazing surfers ask me, what board should I be riding? Like, yeah. how many liters? And I always go. The leaders, it's not really like the thing that's going to determine how, like, if it's not exactly always. the right board for you. Yeah. Just kind of got to find the right dimensions, I think. Yeah. The right dimensions and how the board is, uh, how the, the foam is distributed sometimes. It's not always just how yeah. bulky the board is, like, or how many leaders it is on. What do you think your favorite board to ride in Hawaii is? Like, the favorite board, there's one board that, like, like, any conditions or anywhere, just like that one board that you can go... This is the board. Come over here. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> 6.3 is pretty all around. 6.4 is pretty all around. 6.1 is pretty all around. Like, I would say 6.1 and Haleiwa. That's like the one board six that one I... 6.1 and Haleiwa, 6.1 back door. Like six, small and back door. Yeah, you could... It's such a tough question for yeah. Hawaii though. I, I started on 6.1s everywhere. Like, I would even ride it at Chops and it was 10 foot 6.1. So maybe I'll do that. Six, six one. one. Six wow. one's a good number. Thanks for giving us an insight on your quiver. Oh, Let's go surf now. Yeah. Shoots. It's mahalo.